class this video is for class 4 so in this video we will discuss page number 26 27 28 and 29 so let's start with page number 26 this page is about strange fishes so in this page you are given the clues about different kinds of fishes by seeing and by reading the clue you have to name the fishes so the first one is this fish gives out so much poison when kept in an aquarium that in a short time other fishes have to go to the surface to gulp air so which fish gives out so much poison it is trunk fish which fish gives out most of the poison it is trunk fish second is this fish puffs puffs itself up to look bigger so which fish puffs itself to look bigger it is porcupine fish it is porcupine fish third is this is a sea animal with bell shaped jelly like body it has long stinging stinging tentacles when touched it drives tiny poisonous thread into the victim so this fish has a jelly shaped body it is jelly fish next is this fish has a big spot like an eye to confuse its enemies so it is butterfly fish it is having a big spot so as to confuse the enemies fifth one is this fish is flat and speckled therefore it is hard to see on the sea bed so this fish is having different colorful spots on its skin so that it is difficult to identify this fish so which fish it is it is place fish next is this fish lures smaller fish right into its mouth by waving a long slender spine with a little flap of skin on it which fish it is it is angler fish it is angler fish so we have discussed page number 26 next is page number 27 so this page is about plant variety so in this page you are given different you are given you are provided with different types of trees by reading the clue you have to name the tree first one is this tree is sacred to both hindus and buddhists so it is a religious or the holy tree to both hindus and buddhists so which tree it is it is people tree it is people next is this flower is often given to loved ones the person to whom you love you give you offer them this flower which flower it is it is red rose third one is this herb is regarded as sacred by hindus and even worshiped so which herb is worshiped by the hindus it is tulsi it is tulsi fourth one is this flower is a symbol of purity so which flower is a symbol of purity lily which flower is a symbol of purity it is lily fifth is the branch of this tree is used as a symbol of peace so it is olive it is olive sixth one is this flower is regarded by the chinese as a symbol of peace and beauty so which flower is this it is cherry blossom so it is cherry blossom seventh is this fruit turns into raisins when it is dried so which fruit turns into raisins it is grape so grapes when dried they turn into raisins eighth one is the wood of this tree is used to make cricket bats so which tree is wood is used to make cricket bats it is willow tree it is willow tree next is the wood of this tree has a pleasant smell and is used to make perfumes and soaps so which wood of which tree is used to make perfumes and soaps it is sandalwood it is sandalwood Tenth one is the wood of this tree is considered very good for making furniture, doors and windows. It is teak tree. Now come to the brain gym section given on the same page. 
first one is why do flower pots have hole in the bottom so why do flower pots have the hole at the bottom they are having the hole to get in air so as to get air second is which term is used for bush like plants so which term is used for bush like plants they are known as shrubs they are known as shrubs so we have done page number 27 Now next is page number twenty eight and twenty nine. So page number twenty eight is about muscles. So muscles are very important part of your body. Without muscles, your body cannot work. Even we human beings cannot survive without muscles because there are various muscles. There are muscles that helps your heart to beat. and if the muscles are not there your heart will not beat and you will die so muscles are very important for human survival so you have muscles all over your body muscles help you help you move every part of your body so you are able to move every part of your body just because of your muscles they help you walk smile and even wink There are over six hundred muscles in our body. So, how many muscles are there in our body? There are almost six hundred muscles. So, underline this in your book that how many muscles are present in our body? Over six hundred. How do your muscles work? Some muscles are fastened, that is, joined to your bones. So, muscles are joined to your bones. They work by pulling your bones. So, how the muscles work? they pull your bones and help in the movement muscles can only pull they cannot push so underline this also in your book that muscles can only pull they cannot push so most of the muscles have to work in pairs you have other muscles such as in your heart that works without you even thinking about them so the muscles of your heart work without your command or without your advice they are working on their own next is where is your strongest muscle so the strongest muscle is present in which part of your body it is present in your jaw so the strongest muscle in your body is in your jaw underline this that where is your strongest muscle it is in your jaw what is your biggest muscle you are sitting on the biggest muscle in your body it is in your bottom you use this muscle when you walk and run so if you are sitting right now you are sitting on the biggest muscle of your body so which muscle it is it is your thigh muscle so what is your biggest muscle it is thigh muscle what makes your muscles move your brain tells your muscles what to do so your muscles are able to move only when your brain commands them so your muscles move with the help of your brain so what makes your muscle move it is your brain that makes the muscles move now the off beat section is a frown uses more muscles than a smile when you're frowning it uses more muscles than even a smile a frown uses how many muscles of your body it uses almost 43 muscles so underline frown uses how many muscles 40 Three and a smile uses how many muscles? Seventeen. Next is the tongue is the only muscle in the human body that is attached at only one end. Rest of the muscles are attached at both the ends, but only tongue, the muscle that is present in the tongue, is joined only at one end. Now on page number twenty nine, exercise is given to you. so you have to read the clues and you have to write the answer seeing from the clue box so first one is muscles of the heart have a special name they are known as dash muscles so the muscles of heart are known as cardiac muscles they are known as cardiac muscles second is muscles on the upper arm between the shoulder and the elbow so the muscles that are present between the shoulder and the elbow are known as biceps they are known as biceps 
third is the strongest muscle in our body are present in the i told you when i was explaining the page that the strongest muscle in our body is in the jaw so the strongest muscle in our body are present in the jaw fourth is when there is too much pressure on the muscle it causes sprain what is called it causes sprain so i hope you all have done these four pages in your book in the next pages we'll discuss in the next video thank you